guys happy monday i just wanted to hop on here start the vlog off um i didn't end up finishing like the vlog last night because nicole and i ended up hopping around a few bars we ended up going to like a party for a little bit i have class at 8 a.m it's now three minutes till eight but nicole just left i literally have no idea like i have no idea trust me i'm not complaining but like how i don't have a hangover I'm not complaining. I've had one, two, three. I had to have at least like 10 drinks last night. There's a moth in here. Go up, go up, go up, go up. I, yeah, I had probably at least like 10 drinks last night and I feel absolutely fine. All I am is tired because we went to bed at like, Nicole went shut up. I was like trying to go to bed and she's like going on and on about how much she loves her boyfriend. <laughs> If you're watching this, Nicole, I love you. Guys, drink a fuck ton of water. Like, if you guys get hangovers, you have, before a night out, drink four liters of water. The past few nights that I've gone out in Toronto, I'm very chatty today. Maybe it's like, maybe I, this is a sign of a hangover? I don't know. Or maybe I'm still drunk. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I drink two of these on a day-to-day -day basis anyways, but when I know I'm going out and going to be drinking... A lot of liquor I always make an effort to like drink this all the time and like in between drinking I'll always ask for water at like restaurants and stuff that way it just saves saves you the next day I mean didn't end up shooting my photos which really sucks because I need those photos done and it's gonna be rainy all week I took one photo so I'll insert it here but today I am in school. I have a few errands to run. And if I have time in my day and I'm not so exhausted, I'm gonna go and shoot photos. That might be later in the vlog, me taking you along for the ride, shooting photos. Right now, I'm doing my lecture. And then I'm gonna work out. I'm wearing my workout, news only. Y'all already know that I love these only. Plan, that's the plan, guys. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna have my coffee. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. So I'm about to go for a walk. I tried to work out today and my body, I'm just like so fucking exhausted from a full day of drinking that I'm just like super tired. So I think I'm gonna try to work out later tonight. But before I go for my walk, I forgot that I wanted to show you guys a few new cute pieces that I picked up. Two of them are from Shein actually. They're really cute. I thought you girls might like them too. So I picked up this like really cute off the shoulder green top. Looks like this and then it has these kind of sleeves. I forget what they're called but it looks really really cute i saw a girl on tiktok wearing this and i think it would be like really cute with like i don't know white jeans or something and then i also got this from shein and it is just this like black top that goes like this open in the stomach but like kind of hangs down on the sides and then it ties around your neck like this and this is like a dupe for a very expensive top i forget what brand it's by but it's like i think a few brands are doing it and they're pretty expensive and I found this on Shein for like $10. Love that. And then the next thing I got is from Pretty Little Thing and it is a swimsuit cover up that I'm definitely gonna be bringing to Vegas. And it's just this really pretty towel material and it's in this like really pretty light lilac color and shorts. So I think I already have like an outfit in mind for this to wear to a pool party. I'm gonna wear the, this with like brown cowboy boots and then I'm gonna get like a headscarf and obviously wear a bikini underneath of it, but like a headscarf with like purple, brown, and like maybe like blue in it if I can find it. I think that would look really cute. That's, that's all I got going though. I wanted to show those pieces to you guys. I'll link them down below too if you guys wanna check them out as well. Y'all, I'm so tired, it's starting to hit me now. I so badly wanna go for a nap, but I am going to get a few things done. I'm gonna go for a walk, then I'm gonna take my things to the dry cleaners, and then you guys have to see all the packages I have to send back. It's like, I kind of don't wanna show you because it just shows you my shopping addiction. 
These are all the packages that I have to send back because they're like too big or just didn't look good on me. I was supposed to do these errands yesterday, but I'm doing them now. And then I have some schoolwork I need to do. I don't know. I don't know if the nap's gonna happen. I really want it to, but we'll see. Okay, y'all, I am so fucking tired today. Like, I am pooped. I am that type of person that needs at least eight hours of sleep. And if I get any less, I am so tired. And last night, I only got six hours. So I'm going to have a really early night tonight. I'm gonna do a face mask because my acne is coming back under my jaw. It's so weird. It went away and now it's back again. It's so painful. I'm gonna do a face mask and then I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm not like even overly hungry, but I know I will be hungry. So I'm gonna make some salmon and just like a really fresh salad and call it a night. Like literally probably get, hopefully get into bed by like eight o'clock. That's how early I'm talking. What mask do I wanna do? I'm gonna do some sort of like deep cleansing. Okay, I'm gonna do this little sampler of the Glam Glow face mask I have. It's supposed to be really good for like um, spot treating and just like acne in general, which is literally what I need. Oh my god, so painful. I don't know what to do. I've, I thought it went away with me going off my birth control, but it clearly has not gone away. Might have to go see a dermatologist if it continues. It's okay, not the end of the world. If you guys have any like good suggestions for like deep cleansing face masks, let me know. I literally have a ton of face masks, but they're all like distressing or texturizing or brightening. And right now my skin just needs like a deep freaking clean. I really, my mom's calling me. I really want to get a facial, like a uh, hydrofacial where they just clear out all the gunk in your skin. No way she talks in too. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side. Okay, face mask is on. I'm like gonna let that sit for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Really allow it to like clean out all the shit in my skin. I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm going to, I have a piece of salmon that I defrosted last, yesterday, I think, no, two nights ago. Shit, I hope it's so good. Thinking I was going to eat it two nights ago and then I ended up doing takeout. As I was saying, we are going to do, um, I'm gonna make it tonight in the hopes that it's still okay. Honey, you need garlic, soy sauce, or any sort of like a soy sauce alternative. A little bit of olive oil and you also need ginger. And I just kind of eye it out and I just kind of make a um, marinade for my fish. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, now that you have everything together, again, I just eyed it out. Then I'm just going to get the fish and I'm just gonna soak it in the marinade for like 15 minutes while I prep my things for the salad. That's what I'm gonna do. This recipe is super, super simple. Really, really freaking good too. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday, everyone. And today is a fucking good day. I am finally getting my hair done, and y'all, I've been waiting for this day for so long, I swear. It's been honestly over, I think it's been over a year since I've had my hair done. I'm like practically brunette. The good thing is my hair has grown so much over the past year. People, even that I work with, they're like, how did you grow your hair so long? And honestly, it's all due to like not, not dying it. So. Today we're doing my hair and I'm actually doing something different for the first time in like many, many years. 
the plan is obviously a cut for sure because my hair is starting to get to that like straggly point where it's just like looks nasty and like unhealthy and then i'm gonna do two super blonde money pieces in the front and then i'm gonna do more of like a blend it shows like more of like a natural root so it's not too intensely blonde and i'm also going to switch from like a very platinum like very very white blonde to a more like honey natural blonde i'm super excited i've literally been waiting for this day for for forever so i'm super excited to finally feel good again get rid of these gray hairs that i've been getting i'm like how am i getting gray hairs i'm 26 years old like how plan i'm fucking exhausted i didn't get home until like 1 30 it's 8 now i set my alarm for 7 o'clock and slept till 7 30 because i'm like i can't get out of bed that's a plan i think i'm gonna bring you along if i'm feeling up to it i will like vlog next time you see me my hair is going to be fire i wanted to share with you guys before i head out my little outfit of the day this is a new set i got from maritzia and guys i've been doing too much shopping i say it's for my trip for vegas and that's like why i'm justifying it i'm like i need new clothes i need new going out clothes and then i bought this and i was like well this would be the perfect like airplane airplane outfit this is it it's the cute little uh like comfy white i think it's called the what is it so it's from the TNA Cozy as Fuck line. I think that's the line. But I'll link this set for you guys down below. It's so cute, super comfy. Um, and then I got the sweater in a size two. I was debating on a size two or three, but I think that the size two is like the perfect size. That's my little outfit of the day. Now, coffee, then hair. Just got some lunch slash breakfast. I just got um, a gluten-free bagel with cucumbers and sprouts, red onion, and egg salad. Um, this is just from What a Bagel. I just want to eat something before I head out. I'm meeting a friend later, so I'm gonna eat, get ready, and I'm gonna head out. Here's the hair, guys. It is so cute, so blonde. And I told her that I wanted it still like a little bit dark at the top. That's what she did. She gave me a little money piece. It looks really washed out in this lighting. Like it's not that white. It's definitely not this white in real person in real life. I love it. She does such a good job. And I really wanted that money piece where it's lighter in the front. So when I put, you know, up my hair and have those bangs down, it still looks super blonde. And then she also cut a lot off. I think she cut like two and a half inches off because my hair was just like gross and like straggly. And I was like, that ain't the vibe. I want like some healthy, really, really healthy, pretty hair. So yeah, she cut a little bit off. I love it. It looks so good. If you girls are looking for someone who specific, like she does all hair, I think, but she specializes in blonde, you should check out um, Brittany Hergott by Hair by Banks. I'll put all of her information down below. She's been doing my hair for years and I just like love always love what she does it's also uh super bright right now it's kind of like hard for me to get used to because i was practically brunette for like a while and i kind of wanted to stay a little bit more brunette so once this grows out it'll look like nicer like if i have more like brunette and i feel like i look more mature with brunette hair when i have blonde i feel like i look more youthful i don't know what are your thoughts do you like me blonde or you like me like more brunette let me know. Anyways, I am getting ready. I'm going to drive to my parents. I'm gonna see my nephew. I haven't seen him in like two, I think maybe even three weeks. Then I'm gonna meet up with my girlfriend, Katrina. We're gonna shoot some photos, hang out for a little bit, and then 
I am going to my friend Nicole's house. So it's a super busy day. It's my only day off this week. And I want to like squeeze in as much as I can. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll update you guys when I get to my parents' house. So I just wrapped up shooting. I was there all day with Katrina. I will insert photos here of some of the photos that we took. Um, but now I'm back home. Dad's making burgers tonight. Hi, Granny. Dad's making burgers. And then I'm going to go meet up with Nicole at a little like local bar in the area here. And she's with her mom and her boyfriend. So that's the plan. I am gonna go say hi to people outside. Hey, what's up? Hey. What's up? Oh, I was just filming. I like her hair. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday, everyone. I kind of forgot to vlog the rest of my weekend. I'm trying to get better with it, but it's been like such a busy weekend and such a busy week. I'm so exhausted, but today is actually my only day off. So I just, you know, my goal is to get a lot of schoolwork done. I just went grocery shopping. So I'm going to show you a grocery haul and, you know, just like make sure all my work is up to date. Start editing my vlog for Wednesday. Just all the stuff. I want to share with you guys a little grocery haul. I haven't done that in a while and literally we have nothing in my house right now so i've been ordering out a ton and i just don't want that anymore i'm gonna show you guys what i got i got two of my favorite smart sweets um these are amazing and if you have like a little sweet tooth they are perfect for that i also got my favorite cookie dough this is amazing it's gluten-free really really good very dangerous i i told you guys i literally buy it every time i go grocery shopping Goat cheese for some avocado toast and salads, strawberries. This is the best granola, it's gluten free and it's a little bit high in calories, but super good. And then I'll do like a little yogurt parfait if I'm feeling something more sweeter in the mornings. Some chicken thighs, my gluten free bread. Tonight, I'm super excited because tonight I'm gonna be doing mussels and risotto. I haven't made like a nice dinner at home in forever, so I'm craving a home cooked meal. So I'm gonna do risotto, which is actually next. Fresh green juice. I wanna try this Starbucks mocha, white mocha coffee creamer, but just in case I don't like it because I'm super picky with my coffee, I just got my go-to like vanilla creamer. Gluten-free pasta for tonight. This is just like a super simple dinner mix. Pad Thai, uh, chicken broth for the risotto, my gluten-free, dairy-free coconut yogurt, super good, bananas, arugula, and avocados. Super simple. So I'm trying to avoid buying too much stuff because I always literally waste everything. Like if I look in my fridge right now, I'm gonna have to clear out some things that are like old. For an example, these are old. I hate to admit it, but like I do waste a lot of food. So I'm trying to like get in a habit, a better habit of just not buying as much as I normally would. I'm starving. It is almost one o'clock, haven't eaten yet today. So I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to make some avocado toast. Yum, yum, yum. This is, guys, this is like my favorite go to right now. Avocado toast with a fried egg, arugula, goat cheese, and balsamic vinaigrette. So tasty. Okay, my concierge just brought this up to my place. And I'm like, whose flowers are these? Will's away on vacations, deep into the woods. Um, I opened the card and I kind of ripped the card. But look, isn't he so sweet? Oh, they look so pretty. Let me open them for you guys. Well, and for myself as well. Let me set you up. So cute. Oh my god. These are so fucking pretty. Not worth it. Stunning. How do I do this? Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh, it came with a vase. We don't have a vase here. Oh my God, guys. Do I 
add this in there even though it's already in a vase. Guys, I'm not good with flowers. I don't, <laughs> to say I don't get them often, but that's true. Uh, like, do I just pour this in? I don't fucking know. Guys, they're so pretty, babe, I love you. Like, how gorgeous are they? What a, such a nice surprise. And it came with a vase. We literally don't own any vases, so. Guys, I've literally had the best fucking day today. Like, this obviously made my day so special. But I was also gonna hop on here and tell you some other news that I got that was like, I'm super proud of. And I got an email today saying that, well, first of all, excuse the way I look. I've been doing schoolwork all day, but um, I got an email today saying that I made the Dean's List, so. I'm super proud of myself. It's crazy because like years ago when I dropped out the first time, I was like, school's not for me, I hate school, like da 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 going on about like how much I hated school. And realistically, it was because I just didn't try. And now I'm on the freaking Dean's list. So I'm very proud of myself. Then I get this surprise. I don't know, I'm just having such, such an amazing day. Mm, so pretty. Oh, the good times just begun. 